Meghan and Prince Harry's contract with audio streaming giant Spotify has been criticised by Steve Brine, Tory MP for Winchester. Mr. Brine was one of the members of Parliament leading an inquiry into how Spotify, Apple and Amazon distribute revenue. Speaking to the platform's head of global affairs and chief legal officer, Horatio Gutierrez, Mr. Brine said their pay deal sticks in the craw of some of the artists who are driving Uber cars right now to pay the rent. The size of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's contract was never revealed, but reports in December claimed it could amount to £18 million. Some musicians and songwriters complained that, while Meghan and Harry were able to strike a profitable deal, they receive royalties from streaming services so meagre they are struggling to make ends meet. At the committee's inquiry, Mr Gutierrez did not go into detail about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's deal, only saying, they're not doing it for free. Asked if the couple were regarded as box office, Mr. Gutierrez replied, yes. In terms of the talent that goes into podcasts, yes. The Spotify chief likened Meghan and Harry's presence on Spotify to major TV shows and productions on other streaming platforms. He added, those high production shows that tend to be the tentpole that attract people into the service, and therefore benefit everyone. There is clear evidence that having podcast offerings on the service benefits music consumption, so on the whole there's a virtuous cycle that occurs. Asked by Mr. Brine whether Harry and Meghan were saving the music industry, Mr. Gutierrez responded, that seems a bit premature. They're not the only act that we've signed, we've signed dozens of those and we'll continue to do that. Quote.